Column Mount Installation This installation is applicable when the valve is in a box with a metal lid or located in an obstructed area. Step 1. Excavate a trench about 8 to 12 inches deep from the valves to the column location. Step 2. Pull two equal lengths of wire per valve, one red, one white, and mark them for easy identification. Step 3. Push the end of the wires through the bottom of the column, leaving 6 inches of wire extending out of the top. Step 4. Run the wires in the trench to the valve location and be sure to leave an additional 18 inches before cutting. Step 5. Place an 8 inch concrete form around the column, making sure the bottom of the column extends out beneath the form. Step 6. Mix one 30 pound bag of concrete and pour into the form around the column. Brace the column if necessary and verify that it's centered and plumb. Step 7. Once the concrete has set, slip the field wires from the column through the hole in the bottom of the mounting bracket. Connect the controller's color-coded wire to the corresponding wire color using waterproof connectors. Repeat this procedure for valve number 2 if necessary. Step 8. Place the wires and wire nuts into the mounting bracket body and slip the two yellow sensor wires through the small hole on the side of the bracket. Secure the controller to the bracket by using the four screws provided. Step 9. Apply a thin amount of adhesive around the top of the column and attach the controller assembly. Step 10. At the valves, connect the marked field wires to the corresponding wire color of the solenoid using waterproof connectors. Repeat this procedure for valve number 2 if necessary. Step 11. Test each valve via the manual handle to verify that each valve is operating correctly. Before using the radio handset, the controller must be exposed to ambient light for approximately one half hour. This is to initially charge the system.